all right hi everybody welcome back uh, to our session and today we're gonna look at counting principle by cases it's our new edition all right using the digits one to six how many four digit pin codes can be formed if the code must be even numbered and repetition of the digits is not allowed okay guys we want to form a four digit pin code right so i'm just gonna go there and create four spaces one two three four okay so we want to count how many four digit pin codes can we form if they must be what even numbered and the repetition of the digits is what is not allowed okay so we are only using digits one to six it means my choices it's either one two sorry about this one two three four five and six okay because they say using the digits one to six how many four digit pin code can you form that must be even numbered okay let's look at the first restriction the code must be even number how do i know that a number is even number that is if the last digit is an what is an even number okay so if i write any number and i end with an even number that number will always be what an even number okay for example even if all of them are odd but the last digit is an even number this number is an even number okay so it's on the last digit okay so there must be an even number then we ask yourself from our choices one to six how many even numbers do we have i can either put two there in the last digit or i can put four right it's an even number or i can put six okay so i have three choices there in the last uh, position okay and then in the first position really uh, second position third position we don't have restriction right the only restriction is that repetition of the digit is not allowed so in the first position i can choose any number between one to six one two three four five or what or six but wait a minute there's a crisis here can you see that if i start with two two will be repeating in the last position because um it it must be even so if i start with two there two is clashing with two there if i start with four in my first position four is also repeating somewhere there in the last because the code must be even numbered if i start with six six is also repeating can you see there's a crisis because the condition says a repetition of the digit is not allowed right so if i put two here i cannot use two can you see if i put four here i cannot put four if i put six here i cannot put six there okay but we have a problem because now we can't count the number of codes at the same time here right it's impossible because there's a clash now we realize there's a clash if i start with two two cannot be used because the restriction says repetition of the digits is what is not allowed it means i cannot repeat then once we have such kind of a case you have to think to yourself to divide it into cases okay how do i know how when to divide into cases it's when there is a clash normally it's when they tell you that repetition of the digits is not allowed and when you put them and you want to count you realize no 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 two is repeating here four is repeating six is repeating then you can think of counting by cases counting by cases then you divide them into cases and you count them okay okay let's go and divide them into cases now that we realize that we cannot count them at the same time because there's a clash there's repetition that's happening so what i will do is these that are clashing we count them separately right so i'm gonna go and saying starting with two because two is clashing i'm gonna count all the codes that must start with two okay then um in the last position either choose two four six okay but we cannot use two again because repetition is what is not allowed then i'll count those number of codes then i'm gonna also count those that start with what with four one two three four then if i start with four there here i have two four six but you realize that i cannot use what i cannot use four again because i've used it in the first position remember repetition of the digit is what is not allowed then we go and break into cases and count those that start with six so i'm just gonna put here start with six 
if I start with 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, then I can count these codes. If I start with 6, 6 must be at the start. Here I can choose 2, 4, or 6. I cannot use 6 because 6 has been used already. Okay, which ones are not clashing? 1 is not clashing with any digit in the last position. 3 is not clashing. 5 is not clashing. It means these ones, I can count them at the same time because they're still inside that condition that says repetition of the digits is not allowed okay so it means i can just count them at the same time so i'm gonna say again i break it into another case starting starting with uh one three or five then i will count the number of codes there okay so if i'm starting with one three or five let me just delete this if we start with 1, 3, or 5, 1, 3, or 5, in the last position, there's no clash, 2, 4, or 6. We can put it there. Okay. Then now, once I divide them into cases, right? We call this dividing uh, this uh, counting into cases, counting by cases, because we realized that there was a clash. We couldn't count at the same time. Then we have to think of dividing and counting them into cases okay then we can go and count now if i start with two how many choices do i have there's only one option that is put two in the first position that's one choice remember in the counting principle we are really quite interested in the number of choices or options that we have in the particular case or in this case in the particular position okay so the number of choices that are available for us okay so then we know if we start with two in the first position it must be only one choice that's only one choice that's why we put one then in the last position you won't have to use two because they say repetition of the digits is not allowed and either choose four or what or six how many choices do we have it's only two choices okay then i go to the middle now now you ask yourself okay two has been gone has been used four or six one of them is going to fill that space right let's take for instance we take six out and it fills that space how many options do you now have in that position now okay so two numbers are gone because i have filled two spaces with numbers with digits then in that position from my one two three four five six choices two are gone i'll be left with how many choices four choices okay then you ask yourself three numbers have filled now these three spaces right remember on top is just the number of choices but in reality we know one number is going to fill there one number is going to fill there one number is going to fill there right then you ask yourself from your total of six choices i have removed three numbers how many choices am i left with in this space now i'll be left with what three choices then you can count the total number of codes that will start with two which is four times three times 2 which will give us what 24 codes okay then we go into another case if we start with 4 how many choices do I have I only have one choice there right then you know that in the last position remember it must be even number hands I'm putting 2 4 6 as our choices but then we cannot repeat 4 we have used it in the first position it means in this position now how many choices we have we can either put two or six which is two choices okay then you ask yourself two numbers will fill these two spaces right from your total of six one two three four five six two numbers are gone how many choices are you now left in that position it's only what four choices three numbers have filled those spaces how many choices are you le then left with in this position three choices okay uh so it's one times four times three times two sorry about that which will give us how many 24 codes okay we are also getting 24 codes here let's go with starting with six uh i only have one choice in the first position then i cannot use six i have two choices same thing again two numbers will fill those two positions from my six choices two numbers will be gone because repetition is not allowed right that's why we're saying two numbers will be gone because we can't repeat them six will be out and one of them between two and four will go right so from my six choices two numbers are gone i'm left with four choices right 
there I'll be left with how many? Three choices. This will also give us what? 24 codes. Can you see? 24 codes. Then we go lastly and count another case where we can either start with 1, 3, or 5. All right. So if I'm starting with 1, 3, or 5, how many choices do I have? I have three choices there. I can either put 1, I can put 3, or I can put what? I can put 5. Okay. Then in the last position, there's no clash. I can either put 2, I can put 4, or 6. Okay. How many choices are there? There are three choices okay then you ask yourself when you're coming to these two other remaining spaces you say okay two numbers will fill those two spaces from my six numbers or six digits that are there two are gone how many choices am i left with four choices right how many choices will be left there three choices okay then we just say three times four which is 12 then times three times nine okay so it's giving me 108 codes okay so there are 108 codes that can be formed okay let's answer the question now right remember we just divided into cases because we realized that we couldn't count it at the same time every time when we have such kind of a question where you list down whatever options you have then you realize there's a clash and they there's a statement that says repetition is not allowed you have to think of dividing them into what into cases and you count them separately those that are clashing starting with two starting with four and starting with six okay we can now go and count the total number of codes let me just write it in red here total number of codes so the total number of codes will be the addition of all these codes that start with two start with four start with six start with one three and five okay so it will be 24 codes we have one two three of them right so I can just say 24 times 3. Can you see? Because these ones that are even, um, they have the same number of codes that can be formed. So I can just say 24 times 3. Or if that will be confusing, let me just say 24 plus 24 plus 24 plus uh, the 108. The one that start with 1, 3, or 5. 1, or 8. Then we can get the total number of codes. Okay. So which gives us a total of 180 codes that can be formed right so they are in total how many 180 different codes that can be formed that are even numbered and where repetition of the digits uh it's it's not allowed it means that the digits won't be repeating okay i hope you found this helpful thank you very much